Now we have been studying about all the attractive forces that a molecule undergoes. So the hydrogen bonding or maybe the dispersion forces or the dipole-dipole forces, dipole-induced dipole forces. And it seems as if the, all the forces that molecules exert on each other are attractive, which is not the case. Okay? So the molecules also exert the repulsive forces. So molecules also exert repulsive forces, repulsive forces. And, and, and what can do those forces be? So if you try to bring two molecules too close to each other, what happens? Their electron cloud, electron cloud repulsion and, and the and the nucleus nucleus repulsion starts taking over. Okay? So if we yeah? No, no, no. Till hydrogen bonding, we we talked about about the attractive <coughs> forces. Those forces were what was binding the molecules together. Now what we are saying that the the intramolecular forces, we started from here, no? Intramolecular forces intramolecular sorry intermolecular forces we are not talking about intra intermolecular forces forces are either attractive and here we placed hydrogen bonding in a class of its own due to a strong due to a strong attraction due to a strong attraction and and the Van der Waals forces here, right? Van der Waals here. And Van der Waals had dispersion forces and the dipole dipole forces and the dipole induced dipole forces. dipole dipole forces correct but this branch this leg that that is still remaining right so i am talking about this leg now we have done this we had we had we started from here then did this then did this and and lastly we did this hydrogen bonding has been placed in the class of its own because of strong attractions compared to the van der Waals okay and and the repulsive so 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 we are now here okay so if we bring two molecules closer to each other then they're then their electron cloud electron cloud repulsion <coughs> electron cloud electron cloud repulsion and or the nucleus i should not nucleus repulsion takes over takes over right and those repulsive forces will repel okay okay so so they'll 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 resist any any compression and this is what exactly happens in the solids and the liquids okay it is this force which makes the solids and the liquids highly incompressible. <coughs> highly incompressible. Why? We'll soon see that the intermolecular forces in the liquids and the solids are already high, very, very high. 
ओके एंड सो द मोमेंट यू ट्राई टू प्रेस इट मोर इट सिंपली सेज नो नो मोर ओके दे आर सो अट्रैक्टिव टू ईच अदर दैट द द मोमेंट यू स्टार्ट एग्जर्टिंग एनी मोर यू ट्राई टू ब्रिंग दम एनी any any more closer immediately that repulsive force takes 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 place okay take take takes uh, uh, it opposes you okay so it reacts fine and it is this which makes them incompressible fine so when i am trying to compress a solid or a liquid it is these repulsive forces which are letting me not do that we get the point Yes. By compressing. No. No. You'll soon understand. Liquids turn to solid on compressing it. There are two factors which which are which are important. Either it's the intermolecular forces and it hold on, hold on, hmm? hold on. Th that's the next topic. Yeah? It depends upon the temperature. It depends on temperature. Hmm? It depends on temperature. Many a times, merely pressing it and bringing it nearer does not do the trick, but reducing the temperature does. okay okay that that you'll soon understand because these are two contradictory forces right counterbalancing forces <coughs> okay so 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 that's how the the repulsion acts so it is when you are actually trying to press a liquid or a solid you and, and it's not getting compressed it, you are actually fighting against the electrostatic forces okay so it is actually the electrostatic force that that is preventing you from compressing it fine 